Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 22nd of 2020. Well, it is titled Dark Molecular Cloud Barnard 68. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a dark nebula or a dark molecular cloud. And it's dark not because there's nothing there, but because there is enough material to block out the light from behind it. So the dark blob in the center here, there are actually as many stars in that direction as there are in any other direction on the frame. So if you were to be able to look through the dark cloud, you would see just as many stars as you see elsewhere. However, there is enough dust within the nebula that it blocks out the light. Now, how does this work? There isn't a lot of dust. It isn't heavily concentrated, but over half a light year or so, there are assorted dust particles, small little grains of material scattered around. And there are enough of them so that no matter what line of sight you take going through the cloud, your eye eventually hits a dust cloud. So in a way, it's similar to being in a forest. You can't see to the edge of the forest because there are so many trees there that your line of sight always intersects a tree. And that way you cannot see out because of that. In this case, it's a very similar thing that no matter where you're looking, you're looking at a dust particle. And even though they're far apart, when you have a light year's worth of material and space for this, it can block out light even from bright stars. Now, the dust does a couple of things. It blocks out the light and makes things appear fainter and or invisible if it blocks out enough. But it also makes them appear redder. And that's because the dust is better at scattering out the blue light. So when there's less dust, it's going to scatter out the blues and the greens better than it scatters the reds and the oranges of the spectrum. So if you look around the edge of this nebula, you can see a number of very deep red stars. Now these stars are not necessarily actually red. So they may appear red simply because the other so much all the other wavelengths have been blocked out. And the only thing making it through is red. And in fact, if you look at this nebula in infrared, which is an even longer wavelength, you can see straight through it. And in fact, if you click on the next to the last link, which says look right through this cloud, you will see an infrared image that allows you to see through this and to see that there are indeed stars behind this dark cloud. Now what is happening in this dark cloud would be this would be the beginnings of star formation. This is the kind of thing that will eventually form a new star or a new group of stars. And at, once it begins to collapse, new stars will begin to form within it. And perhaps in hundreds and tens or hundreds of millions of years, there will be new stars here and the dust cloud will be essentially gone. So that was our picture of the day for November the 22nd of 2020. It was titled Dark Molecular Cloud Barnard 68. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be from Jupiter. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.